Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about algebraic structure and semi-group. You know, previous classes, we already discussed many of the concepts relating functions and relations. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, so these are very easy concepts to understand. Uh, with examples, you are going to get better understanding for this. Let's understand the definition of algebraic structure. A non-empty set A, you take a non-empty set A with respect to the binary operation star. You take any binary operation. Here we are taking it star. You may take plus, you may take whatever the binary operation you needed. Is called as algebraic structure. When we are saying it as algebraic structure, if the binary operation is closed on the set A, so the binary operation should be closed on the set A. What is meant by closure property of the set A on the binary operation star? Closed on the set A means closure property. What's that closure property means? We need to understand what's that closure property means. Means if this binary operation satisfies closure property, then we say it as algebraic structure. So the definition of closure property is you take any two elements from the set. Let's take the elements A comma B. You take any two elements from the set A comma B. You apply the binary operation A star B. Whatever the output you got by applying the binary operation, that output should belong to set A. If this happens for all A comma B belongs to A, then we say it as a multiplication is closed under the set A. That is what closure property means. With example, you are going to get the better understanding. Let's take the set. Set is equal to set of all real numbers. And the binary operation here is a plus. You take any set of real numbers. Real numbers means you are going to have integers and uh, fractions and all those values. Uh, you take any real number and apply the binary operation plus. What is closure property? Let's take 1 comma 5 are the elements from the real numbers. You apply 1 plus 5. What is the output? 6. 6 belongs to real numbers. Yes, you take any two real numbers. If you add them, the output is going to be in the real number. In that set real number. So that is what the closure property says. Yes, it is satisfying the closure property. So the, this set we call it as a algebraic structure. Let's take one more example. The second example set S contains five set of all subset of a set. This is what the these basics covered in our previous classes. What is this set means? Five set A, set B, set A, B. And the operation here is a union operation. You take any two elements. The union of those two elements should present in the set S. Yes. yes, you take any two elements. Five set A. Phi union set A is set A. It belongs to set S. You take any two elements, set A, set B. Set A union set B is set AB. That belongs to set A. Yes. You take two any two elements and apply the union operation. You are going to get the element that present in the set. So this is an algebraic structure. Yes, it is an algebraic structure. Next, take the next example. 1, 2, 3 are the elements and the binary operation is multiplication. 1, 2. 1 multiplied by 2 is 2. Is present in the set A. 1 multiplied by 3. 3. It's present in the set A. 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6. Not present in set A. It is not an algebraic structure because it is not satisfying the closure property. Because 2 multiplied by 3, 6 is not there in the set A. That is what the meaning of closure property means. So this is not an algebraic structure. That is what the definition of algebraic structure says. Semi-group. Let's take a non-empty set A. With respect to the binary operation, the same definition with extra condition. So with respect to the binary operation, E is said to be a semi-group. It has to satisfy two conditions. What's those conditions? The first condition is same as algebraic structure condition. What's that condition? It has to satisfy the binary operation. 
closure under the closed under the binary operation the first condition is same as algebraic structure condition what's the second condition the binary operation should satisfy associative property it has to satisfy associative property what's that associative property means a apply the binary operation b binary operation c if you put the brackets here equal to if you put the brackets for a binary operation b then apply binary operation c these two should be same if it is same for all the values a comma b comma c belongs to set a then we say it as it is satisfying associative property let's check some examples regarding the semi group r plus means set of all real numbers on the positive real numbers on the binary operation plus yes this is a semi group why it is a semi group this is satisfying the first condition the closure property yes we in the above examples we already done what's Uh, closure property means you apply the closure property. You take any two numbers from the R plus and you apply the plus operator. You are going to get the output that belongs to R plus. Yes, it is satisfying the closure property. We need to check for the second property. What's that second property? Associative property. You take any three elements, two plus three plus five. What's the first operation you have to do? Three plus five, eight plus two, ten, equal to. first operation is 2 plus 3 which is 5 5 plus 5 10 you are getting the same values this is going to apply for you take any three numbers from r plus it is going to satisfy this associative property so it is satisfying both the properties this we call it as a semi group let's take one more example from the r plus we are going to apply the minus operator minus is not satisfying the associative property why it is not satisfying let's take three elements 1 8 11 so 1 minus 8 minus 11 first 8 minus 11 has to be done first 8 minus 11 means minus 3 1 minus of minus 3 which is 4 similarly if you do the first 1 minus 8 first minus 7 minus 7 minus 11 which is minus 18 these two are not same so minus is not satisfying associative property it is satisfying the minus is satisfying the algebraic structure no it is, is it satisfying the algebraic structure no it is not satisfying 2 minus 3 minus 1 minus 1 does not belongs to r plus r plus means only positive numbers so it is not satisfying the first property it is not satisfying the second property if it is satisfying the first property and it is not satisfying the second property then we say it as this is belongs to algebraic structure but not belongs to semi group so finally it is not a semi group because it is not satisfying both the properties hope you understand the definitions of algebraic structure and semi group if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you